Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in really quick and show you Zora. She got her hair done. She's crying, of course. She's been crying, so you see the little tear in her eye. But it's just, she doesn't like to get her hair combed. <laughs> so, it's, And I, I really didn't even have to do much. I just wet it. So as you guys can see, like she has really nice fluffy curls. And this hair is almost dry. It's actually dry in some places now. So um it will hold the curl and it will hold the sheen so she is um my little curly suit when she wants to be um basically i had her rooted after a real baby photo and so but i don't wear she doesn't wear her hair down often but I just thought I would share her with her hair out, all bushed out. Um, and also I wanted to say really quickly is that one thing about these babies and taking photos and seeing, you know, these pictures of babies and you're like, oh my God, their hair is a mess. The doll looks a mess, blah, 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 blah. A lot of times it's the collectors. Um, Sometimes we just take crazy pictures or we're not thinking about how we're presenting this artist's work and um i personally always try to make sure that i show every doll in my collection at its best um especially when it's another artist's work because i don't want to make their work look worse than it does in person but i also i'm not gonna lie and like filter it to death or you know edit photos to make it look better than what it is but I definitely, you know, try to put in effort. Now, granted, we all ain't professional photographers. I know I ain't. And I don't know nothing about editing. Um, so, I don't think that the mommy should be held like, oh my God, she's not taking professional photos. She's not, her photos isn't great and all that. But, I mean, by all means, at least make an effort and comb the baby hair. <laughs> I mean, just not even for the artist. Do it for yourself, like. Because I'd be looking at some of y'all and be like, y'all some unfit behind parents. Like, I bet you your hair don't look like that when you go to work. Or when you take your picture, you ain't taking your picture with your, your hair look like that. Like, <laughs> you got your baby running around here looking all wretched. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, just, that's just my thing. Um, it doesn't usually take much. Um, and if your baby's hair is a full mess, slap a hat on it. So, because... I mean, not all my baby's hair has been like the way I want it or the way I like it. So I'll put hats on their head or whatever, put it in a ponytail or whatever. I'm telling you, I can have some root jobs that's not my favorite and I can make it work. Um, so that is the way it go. But yeah, this is my girl. She'll always be my girl. Ain't this right, girly? She's always be my girl until she ain't my girl. <laughs> it's job. Y'all know how I do it. But I just thought I would come on and show you guys. And guess what? Surprisingly, I have kept her with her little dress on. And I don't think I'm going to take it out for her. I think I'm going to take her downstairs um, today. And yeah, so she'll probably sit on the sofa or something like that. But I just wanted to show you guys that her hair is very versatile. Even though all you guys ever see is her in ponytail. I may do a couple ponytails. But yeah. See, I got a little fro because that's that's actually the style that I I sent the um, rooter to do, and um, she really mastered any, almost every every hairstyle that I tell her to do. She does it. She can't do it. She'll tell me I can't do this, and then we work from there. Like she's always like letting me know what she can and she can't do, and so we we try to make it work. Um, I personally. When it comes to my babies with human hair, I personally go pick out my own hair because a lot of folks don't know nothing about no good quality human hair. I don't want no hard behind hair. She has human hair that is like a, um, what do you call that stuff? It's that, you know, what is it where the hair is like not processed? I don't know, whatever. 
but that's what kind of hair she has so it's like not dyed or anything it's natural so i don't have to worry about like dye rinse fault you know coming off on her or anything like that because that's the worst thing you want is to have like some over dyed hair and it drip on it and stain their vinyl or whatever anyway guys i gotta go this was just a quick video i hope you guys love seeing zora um i will show you guys when she get her next outfit change how about that she is definitely my little star girl and i want to share her a little bit more than what i've been doing thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up on your way out bye bye